Welcome to Barbell Brigade. I'm Gio. I'm Charles. I'm Dwayne Johnson. I'm Lou. What is he trying to do over there? Are you I moving your shoulders or your you have chest? Have, you have to have pecs to do that. I can't do that. I can do it. What are you saying? Lou doesn't have pecs? Because I He's going agree. like this, though. <laughs> he is going like this. <laughs> teach me how to doggy. <laughs> Lou, huh? Could you teach me how to doggy? What's your mentality uh, before you guys train? Like, what mindset do you guys get in? Boys to men. Mentality, boys to men. What? That's like getting it on music. No. Yeah. No. Making love to the weights. Are you really? Yeah. I'm uh, like up here, you know? So then I need to go like, oh. wah, wah, wah. what happens if you're up here, no boys to men, you train? Uh, just like uh, too much. Like I just need to calm and just fucking. I'm actually a very lift calm lifter like too. like a professional. Yeah. yeah, it's because we're nuts. We yeah. have to calm ourselves I, down. I don't like, I don't like lift. screaming and I don't like overstimulating myself. I a, feel like. We could get adrenal fatigue really fast, I bet. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's gonna feel, I feel like I can't get the cues and all the, little small details to lift, like keeping tight, a big breath of air. Like that's what I run through my mind, but I'm also very serious when I'm training. Serious? I don't, I don't, I don't like like messing around. So, in my mind, like I'm beasting out, wow. but I'm more of a mental person. But I'm then not, when in our mind, you're not. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so then what happens, uh, I guess meet time, where the energy's super yeah, crazy, I'm a, like, adrenaline I'm a is crazy, and people are yelling at you. I'm a monster. Like, so I think, you, I think that's does that a, throw you off? I think that's the no. skill of a lifter, uh, know when to turn it on and when yeah. to turn it off. So like uh, in between uh, lifts or meets or weigh-ins, it's like Lauren Hill, like I'm jamming. That's exactly and right. And then like warm-up room, it's maybe like uh, some we reggae, like one step up. Yeah. And then like right before the platform comes the Eminem DMX. If you go DMX all day. Yeah. I think that people have a big <laughs> issue with controlling their thoughts and their emotions when they're uh, lifting or just doing anything in general. I mean, it, even sports, you know, I feel like a lot of people don't practice those mental cues. They don't do it during training. And then like, one thing I like to do is I like to remove headphones from training too. When I'm training. Unplug. And I, yeah, and so I like to try to do anything that's gonna be as close as, uh, to what the meat's gonna be like. Why do you well. look at me? Because I made you unplug one time, I screamed at you. Yeah, yeah, so we could bond, I get it. Yeah, but yeah. because <laughs> I get super, so I have a lot of fun when I'm training, but I get so ADD that like, then I just start joining the conversations and then I want to just mess yeah. around. That's so true. I need to plug in that's so that true. I can just make myself disappear. Yeah, because I feel really like focus. you zone in. I yeah. feel like you that's zone not in. Bad. I have to, or else yeah. I'm just like trying to trying to fuck around with you guys. Yeah. So once I put once I plug in, then it's like cool. I'm in my own little bubble. It's yeah. okay if I ignore these people. Yeah, yeah, I get it. So what's your what's your mind? mind a state lot of aggression. Oh, so you have the complete opposite. That's good though. Complete opposite. Yeah. So like <laughs> everything. It makes sense because you're so chill. Yeah, and like mostly here. in life, I'm I'm pretty chill. But there's like when I lift, it's like extremely aggressive because I'm not that way with other people. So Iron I say therapy? most of my fresh, mm -hmm. yeah, most of my, like I'm really, if you actually watch videos of me lifting, I'm like either cussing myself out or somebody else out, like, wow. or just like weird self-talk. Um, I don't believe that I can fail, but a lot of times I'll challenge myself. I'd be like, um, what are you fucking bitch? Fucking hit this weight right now. Like I was like, Man, that's what you're telling all, yourself all the time. Yeah, be like you're too fucking strong to miss this shit. I said you want to let these people down. Like I do weird shit, play games in my own mind, even in training. And like for example, like the music that I'll listen to, not that I can down there these people's actions or what they do in their personal life, <laughs> but um, like for me, the the perfect example of like what my head sounds like is like Waka Flocka. Any of those just like <laughs> hard in the paint, any of those songs or like, if you even want to go like rock would be like ACDC from the bell toll, something just like so powerful because for me, every training session like means so much. It's an outward expression of my favorite thing to do. And so when I get in there, like everything that I have in my body is just going to be sacrificed, which has had adverse effects. I have currently have three herniated discs in my back, Ooh. probably from being a little too crazy, but I'm now learning to have more of a calmer approach yeah. and, and work on some accessory work. But my mentality towards training is like, uh, live by the sword, die by the sword. It's a killer's mentality. Like I don't do anything if I'm not giving hundred percent. So for me to be relaxed, I can't like, I can't pull heavy. I can't, I can't get fired up. Like he's seen me train. I'm, I get weird. I yeah. get really excited. Do you like smirk your stuff? Um, I've never, oh, I've never physically no, hit. No, but that kind of deal. Yeah, yeah. I've never physically hit myself. I'm not weird. Like I, I'm not weird <laughs> yeah, yeah. like that. I wouldn't hit myself, but if someone came up behind me and smacked me in the oh, back and called so me a bitch, I'm yeah. not against it. Yeah, yeah. I just um, like to think of it as like an art. 
because I know when I go to the meet, uh, then it's game time, uh, and then I can get yeah. fired up. Yeah. And then there's going to be that extra adrenaline and poundage. Yeah. But if you start to treat it like an art, uh, that I believe it is, I think the longevity, Absolutely. like Charlie said, the yeah, longevity yeah. Uh, factor is there. And when I, when I know that when I'm 70, I want to squat 315, I know I have to do that now that I'm 27. Sometimes, that's one thing you said. That sometimes, like in my own training, I don't think past the day. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. I train for the day, yeah. and that's all I am doing. Yeah. I don't. But that care makes about, you happy, and that's what. Yeah, the end and, of it and, is. I don't, right. and for me, it I don't, makes you feel more accomplished. Yeah, I don't yeah. care about tomorrow. I don't care. Like on ice, that's probably why I'm injured. But like <laughs> I sacrifice, or I was. I'll probably still train the same way. Just I'll be a little bit smarter. But like it just every session means so much to me. Like I just want to be better. That's exactly what I focus on too. I think uh, a lot of people get ahead of themselves a lot. And they start thinking about like, oh, I want to hit this number, I want to hit this number, and I'm just like, to me personally, I feel like, okay, well, that's not putting your mindset into that day that you're training. You're not giving everything on that day. It's like you're worried about tomorrow when you're not focusing on what you're doing at the moment. Be you know? present. Yeah. Be I feel present. Like you have to be very present. You know, you have to really give 100% to uh, everything that you're doing at the moment, whether it's accessory work, whether it's uh, a top set or back off sets. It doesn't matter. Like. To me, like, I, I start to do a lot of weird things in my mind too, you know, yeah. like, I, I'm, I gotta save my mom, I gotta save my friends, like, I, I go crazy, like, if I don't do this, they're gonna die. I've done that, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, you, and it works a lot, I'm just like, I get really fired up, I get really zoned in, I just don't really physically manifest Yeah, it's it. like, could, yeah. and it's like, would you miss a lift if you had to do this to save some, like, I've done something like that yeah. too, and I think the other thing that is exuderated through, like, that's a word, uh, through um, <laughs> your training, is I don't believe you should do any movement any movement without extreme confidence in what is it you're doing. Yeah. The only time injury happens is when there is one second yeah. of a like a blank thought and all of a sudden, boom, something happens. Like there's never been a weight that I've really pulled on that I've been uh, unsuccessful with where I wasn't like, I'm gonna dominate that Yeah. Bar. Right? Yeah. Humbly. I've gotten hurt yeah. like that actually because of like one, it was like one thought that kind of ran through my head and it was just like, oh, this isn't gonna go well. And as soon as I did that, like I got hurt. Yeah. Injured, you, know? you have to be super yeah. confident when you lift. I 100% believe that because if not, that hesitation will cause, it's just power of your thought. Like something bad can happen if you think it can. Yeah. Yeah, I agree, I agree 100%. For me, it's, uh, I never really get that intense because. Uh, I'm fired so, up now, I want to train. <laughs> no, me too. Because I, uh, I, I, I've trained with Bard and Bart's that type of intensity guy. Like, yeah. This fucking rep, like, like your life is on the line. If you don't get to shoot, you fucking die. And for me, I'm just like, whoa, like it's all. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'll live. But I'm like, you know, I don't think I, I'm like, perspective. Yeah, the perspective is completely different, and I'm like, that's way too intense for me. So I, I find it funny, yeah. and then I start. I'm like, dude, I can't, I can't do that. So. For me, it's more like, Looks like, like I know I got this shit. Like, if I don't get it more like you, where it's like, I find myself to be a little bitch. And then um, when it comes to meet time, that's when I'm amped and I'm like, fuck yeah. Like, then that's when the demented sort of thoughts yeah. come in. Like, I'm gonna fucking Crazy rape train. the shit out of you. Like, yeah. fuck yeah, it. Yeah, where I'm man. kind of, yeah. like, where I, I'm, I'm kind of laughing because I'm like, oh, dude, this is gonna be fucking cake. Um, but, but yeah, that's, that's like my level of intensity. I mean, I still like to restrain myself a little bit during training because I'm just like, I'm, I'm training for war, like I'm training for battle, like I'm not gonna mess around. Like when I'm on the platform, I'm gonna go crazy. And I yeah, think you're I'm, different. Little. I think I'm a monster, you know? Like I really you like are. to, I like to zone in. I, I try to be a You are, buddy. <laughs> what are some of your fired up training tips and what's your mentality when you're, uh, when you're getting ready to train? Go ahead, write in the comments below. If there's anything you would like for us to answer, leave those there as well. Like the video, share it with your friends. Till next time. Deuce, deuce. So you're like a mule or a donkey. Well, I wouldn't like go there. Energizer, but I'm a mule? Do you see how she talks? To me? Energizer, buddy. You could be yeah. the donkey show. I'll be the ass. I didn't say you're the donkey show at all. The mule? What about you, yeah, Charlie? Yeah, you just work And you're hard. the pig. <laughs>